I also wanted to say, I kept meaning to say this and forget until I'm in the middle of doing this. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I got to mention that. So when I post the Yemig right off the bat, it goes to my business page. I then post it to my personal page and to, I post it on my YouTube channel. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate you putting up the affirmation. Um, I also post it on my LinkedIn pages, etc. So it gets spread around. It goes to a lot of places. I don't, um, the one, the issue though is when I post it on my business page right after we're done, um, there's a setting that says most relevant. And so somehow Facebook's algorithm decides which of your comments are most relevant, whatever that means. So I see those. Then I'll go back to the top and I'll click and I'll change it to newest. And usually at least two or three more comments show up. Typically it's the short ones. Like when Gwen says hi, that's one of the ones that typically shows up in this second um, tab that I open up. So if I either forget to open up that tab or it didn't post there either and it's in, I think there's like five choices of all that stuff. Don't feel like I'm snubbing you. I, it's just, it hasn't shown up that I can see it. All right. So there, good. I wanted to say that. Now I got that off my chest. Yay. Um, so back to enthusiasm. Let's see what the card has to tell us. See how it chimes for you. Let's take a couple of nice deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And you just keep breathing deeply and easily. And here are our words for today. I set the intention that the inspired part of you hears what you're meant to hear in here. That was a lot of hears. Enthusiasm. Card meaning. Embrace life with excitement and celebrate even the smallest victories. And I would say even the smallest things that catch your attention. And it says next, let your childlike exuberance radiate to others. Remember how excited kids are about seeing a bug or a leaf floating down or a feather or, you know, little bitty ants, an anthill. That was really exciting for my kids. Um, <laughs> Yay, you! Absolutely. So we're going to be celebrating. The childlike exuberance radiates out to others. That makes you an appealing person to be around. You know those people when they walk in the room and they light up the room. Good morning, Linda. Welcome, welcome. Well, good afternoon, good evening. I, I know it's much later by you. But those people who walk in the room and they just light up the whole room. And those people who walk in the room and they bring the thundercloud with them. Which one are you? Just saying. This isn't the time to be cool or reserved. So it's about being silly. It's about being out there. It's about being excited, exuberant, inspired. All right? Find joy in the ordinary events of life and discover what's great about today. Imagine if we did that throughout the course of our day. Set a timer on your phone to go off maybe five times during the day. What's great about this moment? What is great about right now? Wouldn't that change your perspective? That's why I like to meditate in the morning. It sets the tone for the day. That's why I love doing yemig in the morning. It sets the tone for the day. Ah, dogs excited by floating leaves, yes. Or the dogs that play frisbee. They're, they're always fun to watch too. They really get into it. We need that enthusiasm again. We need to be excited. Much of that got squelched because they wanted us to sit quietly in school. I was not good at that. I flunked quiet. I'm much better at it now. Your soul wants you to know it's easy to think that you'll be enthusiastic once your dreams have become reality. However, the fastest way to manifestation is to be joyous about what you already have. And I would say be joyous. I'm going to show you. Be joyous about the process. Embrace the process. Let go of the outcome. Especially if you have a bigger... Good morning, Bolang. Glad you are here. Welcome. Um, especially if you have a bigger goal in mind that is going to take a chunk of time. All right? Oh, yes. The I must not talk in class. I'm with you. I was there. There was one where I had to hold my arm in the air 
for a half an hour because I had blurted something out instead of waiting to be called on. Whatever. Now we know that's called ADHD. <laughs> Back in the early 60s, that was not something we knew. <laughs> so embrace the process, release the outcome. All right. So if you're enjoying the journey to get there, you're going to be in so much better shape, mood-wise, energy-wise, health-wise, etc., than if you're constantly waiting for an outcome, especially with longer-term goals. If you're waiting for the outcome, you can be waiting a good long time. That's a pretty lean schedule of reinforcement. Every three or four years, I can go, yay. No, no. Needs to be a daily yay, okay? So, as a direct result of your unabashed excitement, you'll start to see miracles in your life and in the lives of those around you. Again, we've talked about the lenses, right? Yes, childlike is not the same thing as childish. And even if we dip into childish now and then, I don't think that's so bad either. What the heck? We're human beings. We are not perfect. We are. We, we go through life with all the belches, wheezes, and coughs that goes along with being a human being, right? And occasionally a fart, too. So... When you have the lenses, the shit-colored lenses on, you are not going to see the good stuff in your life. It's all already there. It's all already available. But you don't see it because you're going, you're doing the ER thing, right? Oh, I think it's going to rain today. Tigger always sees, Tigger and Eeyore live in the same place, right? Good morning, Susan. Glad you are here. They live in the same place, but they experience it very differently because of the lenses they're looking through. And again, I'm not saying rose-colored glasses, but at least clear lenses, okay? See what what is good about what's going on instead of always, uh. And again, our brain, our reptilian brain, has not evolved past survival mode, right? So it's always looking for what could go wrong, where's the danger, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Use your cortex. Use that frontal lobe. Yes, yes, exactly. Use that frontal lobe to look at the world from a more considered perspective. What is good about this? Where is the joy in my life today? What's going well? Not just dwelling on, and I always start my coaching sessions that way. The first question I ask people is, what is going well in your life? Good morning, Gwen. Glad you are here. Because I want to ramp up the energy a little bit, get them in a positive state of being. Then we can tackle the stuff that's not going so well from a good, healthy perspective. All right? Simple little trick, all right? And Tony Robbins does that one to the max. When you do any of his events, he has you up and jumping around and singing and carrying on because, and he used to call it putting you into a peak state before you approach difficulties. Now he calls it a beautiful state, putting yourself in a beautiful state before you proceed to address what's difficult. It gives you a whole different batch of tools to utilize, all right? So let's see here. Additionally, enthusiasm is a direct path to vibrant health. It helps improve your immune system and sends a message to your body that it's vital, healthy, and strong. Even if you just started your day by saying that to yourself, stand up, square your shoulders, put your head up, and say, I am vital, healthy, and strong. I am vital, healthy, and strong. Even if at that point in time you're struggling with something physically, I am vital, healthy, and strong. Because again, you're then sending the message to, to your system. Your body has amazing ways to heal. Oftentimes, we just need to get out of the way and let the body do what it does. If we cut ourselves, we don't have to stare at the cut and go, okay, now clot, now form a scab, now it's time for the scab to fall off. No, your body just does it, right? But we got to get out of the way. Good morning, Jennifer. Glad you are here. Welcome, welcome. So we are just about done, actually, but I will post the video right after. Today was enthusiasm. And some of you, again, might be going, Ugh. try it on. Put it on. Fake it till you make it. Some enthusiasm. And that, to me, is not the same thing. Yes, putting a smile on your face. Absolutely. It's not the same thing as faking it. So I remember when someone... Yes, vital, healthy, and strong. Thank you for posting that, Diane. Um, someone I knew said, um, 
Good. Glad you're going to watch it. And watch this over and over. If you get, if you hit one of, one of the early morning intuitive guidances, I do this every morning. If you hit one that really chimes for you, save it somewhere, put it off to the side, you know, pin it, whatever you got to do, email it to yourself to make sure that you can find it again and watch it over and over and over. These are stored indefinitely on my YouTube channel. So that would be a place where you can find it also. But um, they do continue. To, I When now you, Facebook gives me an option, you can save them for 30 days, 60 days, or forever. I always pick forever. You never know. There's good information. You never know when it's going to chime for somebody. I fully believe that when we're meant to come across something to inspire ourselves, we will. We will. All right? So for today enthusiasm. Practice some enthusiasm. Get your head up. Get your shoulders back. Move a little bit. Maybe you take yourself for a walk. I have decided I need to get off my butt more and go for some more walks because I have to prep for going to Spain in June and we do a lot of walking and uh, can't afford to be pooping out on the on the walk. <laughs> so have an awesome day. Practice your enthusiasm. Remember you are capable of far more than you think you are. And if you would like to get these Yemigs, early morning, your early morning intuitive guidance, sent to your email, please feel free to send me a message to my email, bonnie at empowerment and purpose, all little letters, all spelled out, dot com. And I will add you to my email list so that you get the early morning intuitive guidance every day to your email box if that's easier for you. Have an awesome day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.